So here is today's project. Um, I hear shredding these incredibly overgrown burning bushes. Um, and a little, little problem, uh, but also somewhat of a learning uh, experience or potential here. Um, so this is one that I'm pretty much finished clearing out. There's a couple more limbs that I think I'll cut off, but uh, basically we're trying to go from this to that little guy right there. Um, trying to cut away the width so that they're not um, interlocking and then when they do grow back I can sort of maneuver my way into them to put the pond straw out here in the spring um, and so this is the width before I cut cut the sides back and then that's the width that I want them all to be um, so that should have them all sort of in their own little space um, we cut all the suckers off as you can see um, they're all around the bottom I'll open it up, some airflow to the base, and also all this malt or pine straw over the years was put around the base, and we got some yellowing, some rot. Right I'm trying to get my clipper here. Anyway, got some rot right here. And that's all. All that is looking at this I thought it was a fungus and I'm assuming I guess it started as a fungus but right now it's just rotting the um, the bark off of the roots so none of that should have been covered but it was so I'm basically going and uh, digging all that out so hopefully this will dry out and uh, those roots will be a little bit more healthy um, making the bush look a little bit better. Um, that's a very common thing, and this is why when um, when you when you listen to anyone who sort of has an idea with landscaping and, and mulching, you know we get crazy about seeing these mounds, right? You'll go through the city and you see the trees; they just have the, the mounds of mulch. You know, this is why. Uh, it's just it's horrible for the tree you know um, this right here that yellow should be just as brown as that right there uh, and the big problem is that just all this material is just around the, the root system and it really shouldn't be um, so whatever the effects are um, most people are not going to really notice it but the, the main thing is you're not going to get as much foliage up top it's not going to be as colorful as you would desire. So pretty much the the reason for planting the shrub, you, you'll lose it. And you don't even know that you've lost it because th these are hardy shrubs and they will produce foliage and they will turn their color. Um, but most people don't realize just how darn good a shrub can look if you just do something as basic as this. So. We're gonna clear out all these, make them look like this, um, clear out a good area to hopefully let them dry out. Cause I guarantee you all of these look like that. Um, and um, with all the open airflow from this, all that stuff being cut out, um, making them an appropriate height. My guess is by the middle of summer, these are gonna look really, really good, really, really full, um, hopefully. Um, you know, hopefully we're not taking too much off for that root condition, but I doubt it. Um, but hopefully these will fill in a little bit, look a lot nicer. I mean, these in the back are really thin just because they're shaded um, against the house or against the building. But uh, yeah, there's the reason that you don't pile up your mulch, pile up your pond straw, and. Uh, here is a little trick, so you'll notice if you're paying attention, I have these two sitting here, your standard shears, right, some feskers, I just bought these, and then some wire covers, 
right? Now, why in the world do I have wire cutters out? I was using these. I just bought them, and I don't like them at all. The uh, the spring action it doesn't it doesn't really go well, and also it doesn't close all the way. doesn't close all the way without really having to press it down and then the spring doesn't work so don't like these they're brand new I'll have to oil them up and see if I can get um, better maneuverability out of those but also I was in the truck digging around looking for something to scrape out the roots and I thought you know what wire cutters would be great for these little suckers and I'll be darned if they're not so so darn good uh, let's see if I can find something okay so you gotta think wire cutters they're cutting thicker wire right these roots they just go right through it and with the needle tip being the way it is you can get a little bit closer to the tree and unlike the shears there that I just bought these don't lose their teeth uh, let's focus in okay. so these won't lose their teeth uh, the Faskers have already lost a little bit of bite to them and I've only used them for about 15 minutes but let's get focused in on this Just go right in there. Cut that right off. Yeah. That works wonders, man. And I never, I can't believe I never thought of that before. But uh, in a pinch, when you have a lot to go through, um, get your wire cutters out, man. This is this is a lot quicker too, because it's smaller. And like I say, with that tip, I can just get right in there as close as I need to get, and maneuver inside the bush a little bit easier. You know, it's good stuff. Okay, here we go. We are all done, cleaned up. Well, don't don't judge what you're looking at here. It's a mess, but we got all the root balls uncovered um, all these are trimmed up cut back to a reasonable height um, they won't be choking each other out now so hopefully they'll thicken up this season um, we'll come back in do a little bit of fertilizer as the spring comes on um, <clears throat> all of this on the floor or the ground sorry um, ignore the look of it I'm going to ask him if he wants to go ahead and do his pine straw now, his yearly pine straw now, because uh, it's a tax office, and this is his busiest time of year, most people coming in, so I'm going to, have to go ahead and just say, hey, why don't we do this now, get it out of the way, and have it look as good as we can um, for us customers, um, since now's the time they're coming in. <laughs> um, as far as all this goes, um, with something like this, what I would normally do Let's take a mulching mower and mulch it all up. You know, there's no point in hauling all this out. Uh, it's just extra work. And you chop it up, you mulch it. It's gonna actually feed these plants um, over the season as it breaks down. You know, it's better to feed it organically than it is to feed it with, <laughs> you know, just, just crazy harsh chemicals, you know. You can try to minimize that where you can, but um, yeah, so that's what we'll do with that. Um, here's the trailer all packed up completely packed up by the way um, with all eight trees nine trees one two three four nine, nine trees and uh, it's packed in there pretty good man this uh, we got the first half of his trap down so that we can put the second half in and um, you know I've never had any issues with this trailer it runs so smooth that uh, you know I've left locks gloves uh i left my keys my my mower and lock keys on this because i use this because i don't have a 
third gas can yet. Um, I've just been lazy and not really, I mean, in all honesty, not really needed it. So I'll occasionally leave stuff on this and I've never once had anything fall off, no matter how long or bumpy the drive. Cause uh, sure track, man, they know how to make their trailers. But um, yeah, that's it. We're loaded up. We're gonna go to the landfill, get some food, come back, mow this one or chop up the leaves basically. And uh, that'll be it for my day today. See ya.